Good morning, afternoon, evening, or even night, whenever you are watching this. Welcome to the Firebirds presentation on Symbiosis Among Plants and Animals. We are from Class 6 Emerald of SKCBN1, also known as Sekolah Kebangsaan Konvensato Bukinanas. In my group today, we have me, the leader of the Firebirds, Chloe Te Aichi. Im Hi, I'm Ima Amadi Binti Norazman. My name is Nur Alisa Binti Muhammad Arif. Symbiosis among animals and plants. There are three types of symbiosis among interspecific animals. Symbiosis living together between two different species. Oxpeckers and buffaloes. The oxpeckers get food by eating ticks that suck blood from the buffaloes. The buffaloes benefit by having the ticks removed. Sea animals and hermit crabs. Sea animals get food and transport from the hermit crabs. At the same time, the hermit crab gets protection from the sea animals that can sting the predators of the hermit crabs. Commensalism. Commensalism is a symbiotic interaction that is only beneficial to one species, but the other species does not get any benefit or any bad effect. Clownfish and sea animals. Clownfish gets extra protection from sea animal without beneficial or harm from the sea animal. Remora and sharks. Remoras get a lot of food without beneficial or harm towards the shark. Parasitism. Parasitism is a symbiotic interaction between members of two different species in which one species obtains benefit and the other species is harmed. Example 1. Cats and ticks. Ticks suck blood from cats' bodies and cause itchiness on their skin and their ears. Example 2. Tapeworms and animal intestines. Tapeworm feeds off the food being digested in animals' intestines. Symbiosis among plants. Commensalism. One plant benefits while the other plant neither benefits nor suffers from the interaction. Example, birds, nest, ferns, and woody trees. Birds, nest, ferns live in trees to get sunlight and water. They do not take nutrients from the trees that they live in. One species, the parasite, benefits while the other species, the host, is harmed. Loranthus and woody trees. Loranthus is a genus of parasitic plant that grows on the branches of woody trees. They suck nutrients and water from the host trees. Here's a little more info about these parasitic plants. The trees may eventually die due to loss of nutrients because of these. The potential of our innovation. Pupils currently learn a lot with exposure to technology and innovation. Pupils will be more interested in the learning methods they like. With this video, Pupils will be more excited and surely decide to try this learning method. This is also as one of the efforts from us to increase the number of science learning video in English language. The effectiveness of our innovation. With our innovation, definitely it will be very effective and helpful to pupils out there. It is easy to build up as pupils nowadays are very advanced and expert in technology. Furthermore, it's easier to share with others using a lot of platforms such as YouTube, WhatsApp, Telegram, TikTok, and many more. The software that we use to edit this video is called Flipa Clip and CapCut. Thank you everyone for watching! Stay safe and stay healthy! Oh, 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 oh,